Research. All right. Our very first DNA sequencing, ladies and gentlemen. And many more to come. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter on the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to switch out our Tier 1 uh, flower spreaders with Tier 2 and put some more pressure, uh, Tier 4 pressure drills down. And then uh, we'll see where we are after that. So let's see y'all. To make a Tier 2 flower spreader, we need all of that stuff. So we'll get... We're just going to need one super and a mag and a fertilizer and then the rest we can get back from taking these guys down one super one mag one fertilizer okay so we currently have five um super do we have any super left in here huh -uh. okay so let's do five to start with and then we might even do some more so we got five super we need five ferts one, two, three, four, five fertilizer and uh, five magnesium. One, two, three, four, five. And like I said, the rest we should get back by just taking those guys apart. Okay, so let's start with this one. And we'll replace it with the tier two. And just by way of comparison, this one is doing 2.86 PPT of oxygen versus 1.42 PPT. So over twice as much. Nice. Okay, let's do this one next. And this one next. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, this one. And lastly, this one. Okay. So we more than just doubled our oxygen output from those. Now, um, what we really ought to do is, these guys are doing 64 versus 2.8 parts per trillion. These are just parts per quadrillion. Wait. That can't... No, that must mean something else, because quadrillion is more than trillion. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it means. Um... So... We, we, we may come back and increase this some more. But let's, uh... We need to give our pressure some attention. So let's pin that. We need six supers and three Ozes for each one of those. They're kind of expensive. Um, let's do, here, let's put this stuff away. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how much power do these use? 54. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of power. Um, <clears throat> if we set up four more of these... That's going to be 24 alloys. 5, 10, 15, 20. Hmm. Maybe we better just do three more for now. Because I don't want to burn up all our super alloy quite yet. Okay, so that means we need 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. And it means we need nine Oz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Very good. 
We don't have a pressure fuse yet until when we do come across one, though, of course, we'll optimize for those. to be fairly lined up here. Okay, massive pressure increase. Love it. Um, pressure is what's going to get us to the tier two extractor. Let's see how close we are. And we might uh, do another pressure rocket. In fact, I think we'll do that anyways, because why not? We have to get to the gas extractor first, which is also very good. So yeah, we just boosted that pretty damn good there. Um, I don't know, should we do a fourth one? Okay, let's think about this. If we do a fourth one, where are we gonna get super alloy? We could still pick it off the ground in the alien biome and in the lava biome, but it's just harder to find there. At some point, the game starts giving us super alloy storms, but I just don't know when, you know, how far we need to be along before that starts happening. And we can't mine super until we get the tier two extractor. So based upon that, it would behoove us to get this boosted even higher. Yeah, let's do it. I might regret this in the short term, but let's just do it. So we need six more of these and three more of these. We'll make it work. Make sure we're pretty close to lined up there. There we go. All right, nice. Got five of those monsters running. Maybe what we should actually do is... Oh, shit. I just crashed. Wow, that hasn't happened in a while. Um, 1-0 is definitely more stable than uh, out, uh, early release was. Well, let's uh, restart and see what happens. The thing is, though, is the more I, the stuff I build, potentially the more unstable it's going to become. That's kind of what happened to me in uh, early access. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we never saved. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting the crash, though, right? Let's let's just grab um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of those and all of those, but we'll still have to come back and get another one. Um Did we Oh shit, we gotta redo the flower spreaders too. God damn it. Alright, let me get this all set back up and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, I'm over here at the pond and um, I, I got everything back the way it was. I think I'm going to take down this tier 1 algae guy and build a second tier 2 uh, over here. So we can increase our algae production and also our biomass. And I think that even contributes maybe a little bit to O2 as well. Uh, does it? Yes, it does. 280 units worth. So let's go back in here. Um, let's see. We're 61% of the way there. Biomass is just kicking ass. Heat's kicking ass. Oxygen's doing pretty good. And pressure's not doing bad either. We're seeing some good movements on those numbers. Yeah, let's save. I have saved a few times already again. Oh, I hate doing stuff over again. It sucks. All right. Let's put all that in there. We're going to need to generate some more fertilizer here with that. 
Um, okay, what do we need for this? Let's pin that. We need a furt, a super, oh, and a plastic. There's our furt. Do I have any more super left? Not very much. And we have a plastic there. We'll put this magnesium in here. Oh, we need the magnesium. Never mind. Pull it back. Okay, good. So let's pop that in place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch a pressure rocket. Actually, you know what? I think I want to move this a little deeper out. if I should also put this a little deeper out too. Just so we're not, you know, blocking potential algae algae sprouts. I guess that's what you would call them, algae sprouts. Oh, by the way, I moved my rocket launcher up there on that hill a little further out. Uh, I just I felt like it was too close to the the labyrinth. Let's harvest the water. Put it all in there, except for... Oh. Alright, so I have two full bins of water now. I think I'm going to hold off on continuing to harvest it for now. Um... Why don't we actually grab a bunch of eggplant? Looks like I harvested those recently. And make some more fertilizer. And I'm going to eat a bean. Okay, that's still waiting for another bark. Well, let's see. We need eggplant, sulfur, and water, right? What do we need for fertilizer? Oh, no. Algae and sulfur, right? Okay. So let's grab, we're going to need to run and get some more sulfur too. Let's grab about that many and then we'll grab as many more of these as we can hold. Okay. Grab another batch of those, put these in here. Eggplant. Now let's grab some of those. The thing about making a, a bunch of fertilizer is it's it's really worth doing because um, you you not only need it to for itself but you also need it to make uh, the tier two fertilizer. So it's kind of like a double usage, and you essentially can't make too much of it. All right, we have enough for two. Whoops, uh, two more fertilizer. So we need two more eggplant. There we go. Okay, that's a nice little collection of furt there. Um, why don't we... You know what I could do is... Oh, nice. We got the orbital screen information. So many... Th these things require water as well. Maybe we should make a water bin up here, and that way we can keep harvesting it and loading up on, up top. I think that's a good idea. Just need three iron from here. And let's grab all of that. We'll just transfer the water up here right now. Spot for four more.
grab five so we keep one in our own inventory. All right, nice. It's raining outside. Crazy. Love the water, man. Okay. Next order of business is what were we going to do? We set up the algae thingies. We have two screens we could set up. Why don't we do that? Oh, pressure rocket. That's what we were going to do. Let's do that first because then we can... Uh, we're going to have to make the rocket. Okay. We need one of these and two of these and something else. Uh, an explosive powder, I think. So, two sulfur and an iridium, which I forgot to grab. Oh, no, that doesn't require an explosive. It requires a super. Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, we sh Yeah, we'll have enough. I think we need two supers. Okay, let's make this. We don't need the sulfur. But, like I said earlier, I need to go run and grab some sulfur. And we need silicon. Okay. So, yeah, let's, um, let's do this. Let's go launch a pressure rocket and let it do its thing. And then I think we're going to go hunting for some crates. Just because I want fuses and, you know, other goodies. And we can find super alloy in crates, too. Um, so let's grab a couple extra water. Um, since I have so much, but I'm going to just top off. Um, we should probably do another O2 capsule. Oh, I've got more iridium in there. So we want cobalt. Oh, wait, we were going to do the screens first. Let's do that first before I take off. Sorry, I'm all, I'm all scatterbrained, man. All right, I'm going to do the same kind of thing I did in, in Season 1 because I liked that setup. So we need two iron and two cobalt. And we're going to put some glass windows there. Okay. And then um, we can make... The bio screen, which is a big guy. So we need an iron and an aluminum. We'll put that right in the center here. Cool. And then we also have the orbital screen and the map screen. Um, that needs... Okay, they both need a microchip compass. Uh, do I have any more? Yeah, I've got that. Okay, so to make two compass microchips, we need four aluminum, two mags, two silicon. Four aluminum, two mags, and to silicon, because I want to keep the silicon I currently have. Okay. Now we need an iron for you. And an iron for you. Alright, no more overflow iron. And we also need an iron to make another table. So let's put the map screen here. We'll put a table, or I guess a desk, here. And we'll put the orbital screen here. And we might end up uh, having a, a second screen. You know, with the new update, I'm not sure. Uh, we can't use this until we send a mapping rocket into orbit, which I'll do at some point. That's just not a priority right now. 
And this shows us that we have five heat uh, heat asteroids and two pressure, uh, stop, sorry, not asteroids, satellites um, orbiting the planet at the moment. Soon to be three. Um, so, yeah, we need more silicon now. Okay, I think we're ready to set out. Let's, um, you guys aren't quite ready yet. Let's eat another one of you, and we'll take a couple smaller ones. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, we are topped off pretty good, but we might as well pick those. And we'll take an extra bean with us for the road. We're building up our mushrooms. We're going to be making a lot of bioplastic as time goes on. And I want to find some more mushroom seeds, too, for that, that same reason. Uh, top off our water and actually harvest both of the waters. Okay, let's take two waters with us. we got two O2s. I think we're good. We'll go launch the rocket. Maybe what we'll do is actually loot the ship. Oh, there's our gas extractor. You know what? Let's get that going because it's going to make methane for us and oxygen. And also nitrogen, I think. Yeah, I think this one makes nitrogen too, which we'll need later. Uh, what does it take though? Please don't tell me you don't want super. <laughs> oh, and zeolite. Okay. So yeah, I guess we can't make that quite yet. Oh, I do want to check one more thing. Sorry, I know, scatterbrained. That's me. Uh, how close are we to the tier two drill? 364, we're well on our way. Not, probably won't hit it in this episode, but very likely the next one. Let's get this rocket launched. We're doing a pressure rocket. Okay. Um, yeah, what the hell? Let's just loot the ship. We might as well. No reason not to. I think we've waited long enough. I mean, there's still so many crates and other... And all the other ships besides the noob one for us to do. So... Let's start by doing the, the bridge. If I can get in there. There we go. Okay, so we have you. Uranium rod's nice. A tier 2 fertilizer. It's the first one of those we've seen. And is that it for in here? I think that's all we can get in here. There's nothing else that we can deconstruct or anything. Okay. Build that pressure up, baby. Seed spreader rocket. Okay, good. That's for good for oxygen. We need to get one of these up in the air, and we need to get a plant spreader rocket up in the air. You know what? I think we're going to need this, so let's just make it right now. Uh, another one of you. All right, we're going to put all this stuff in here. Uh, let's put a water. We'll take two O2s with us, though. And go in and start looting the ship. What I want more than anything right now is a pressure fuse, but I'll take, you know, whatever, of course, the game wants to give us. I don't think there's anything to loot up in this first floor. We're going to find a shit ton of food seeds in here, though. Uh, no, actually, we picked all the food seeds earlier. We just haven't done the crates. Right. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, yeah, there were food seeds in here earlier on. So let's go straight back this way. Keep an eye on these lockers because sometimes the little blue tri uh, blue chip, microchip, blue microchip guys can hide inside. Nothing in there, but we have two crates in here. Well, there's a super. Okay. 
There's some mushroom seed. Good. And another super. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, that's it for this corridor. Now let's go down this one. Again, we're looking for the small blue crates and nooks and crannies, but we've probably already grabbed all of those now that I think about it. Two rockets. Oh, man. Okay, more pressure rockets are going up, man. And a massive amount of iron. I remember that. Okay. That doesn't suck. We need iron for everything under the sun in this game. That's a nice little pile of loot there, man. I'll take it. I'm not worried about organizing anything right now. We just put that stuff in there and go. Uh, we're good on water for another trip in. And I think, I think we're done with the left side. Uh, well, except for the iron. Yeah, let's grab the iron. Okay. Now we'll go down the right side. Can't get those yet until we get the tier 2 deconstructor, but these will give us circuit boards later. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll go left. That's probably one of the rooms that'll open up way later when we can do fusion cells. There's a crate. Okay, got a super alloy. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, let's go upstairs. There's the fusion reactor. And some crates. Oh, that's a nice crate. Look at the stuff in there, you guys. Ooh, that's a heater. Oh, man, I wish we get a pressure. Let's eat this. Okay, and then we have two more, no, three more crates, because that was that secret wall uh, that we have to come back for, but we're out of space. So let's drop all this back off first. I mean, a heat fuse does not suck. Uh, what do we need for... Oh, we already got a screen in here. Okay, so let's keep the two microchips with us. And see what we get. Tier 3 agility boots. That doesn't suck. Oh, and a tier 2 jetpack. Both of those. Awesome. Awesome possum. Uh, what just unlocked? Something just unlocked. I don't know what it was. Um... Can we tell from here? Gas extractor we already had. Oh, the DNA manipulator. That's new. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the, the new thing. All right, so to make the tier three agility boots, uh, we need two supers and an explosive. Look at that. We have an explosive and we have two supers. Oh, man. Okay, this is a 45% movement increase speed. That does apply to both walking and also the jetpack too. So very nice upgrade. Very, very nice. And the jet, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the jetpack, we're going to have to do that back at the base. <coughs> excuse me, with the advanced um, uh, constructor. Okay, let's take a water and go grab those other crates. There's three more crates and they could have some amazing shite in them, especially since they were in a hidden area, which could make them more valuable. Um, you know, just based upon that alone. We'll see. We shall see. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Oxygen multiplier fuse. Okay. A tree seed. Very good. We're going to start using those soon. A mutagen and a tier two furt and a uranium rod. Not bad. Another rocket. Okay, so no pressure fuses, but still, uh, not bad stuff at all. Yeah, I can already tell we're moving faster, man. Look at that. 45 degree, or 45% rather, uh, faster. Nice haul. Overall, nice haul. 
Um, we only got one mushroom seed out of that whole deal, though, huh? That one there. No, we got two. Okay, good. Um, all right, so let's see here. I think we need to go take these rocket engines and just launch another two or three pressure rockets. Uh, we will do, you know, the biomass on the O2s, but I really want to get that, you know, those tier two, uh, the tier two ore extractor. Um, that's kind of like my highest priority right now. So, uh, first order of business is to haul all this stuff back to the base, which of course I'm going to do off camera. So I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll be back in a little bit, uh, for the rocket launches and then we'll decide what we'll do next. Hey, look at that. We hit the flora stage. And uh, right before I started the record again, uh, the super alloy rod unlocked for us, too. It's a beautiful thing. So we are, yeah, we're still cranking on the way up there. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that. We are now uh, well on our way to the tree stage. It's awesome. I'm still in the process of uh, pulling stuff over, so I'll bring you guys back just in a little bit here. All right. I got everything hauled back over here. We're at 866 million terraforming index and um, 364. Okay, so yeah, we're going to launch some more pressure rockets. We currently have two, three. We have three up in the air uh, or in orbit, I should say. Um, So, you know, I, something just occurred to me. A good argument for keeping a, a rocket launcher close to the base is I can at least go out to it to see what the uh, what the recipes are. Where is that damn thing at? Yeah, I, the thing is, those we're really low on super. So, yeah, we only have four. So we better not do that right now. I was just gonna say though, we 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 need we could do a plants and an O2, but we're doing fine on biomass at the moment. So I think I'd rather just keep cranking up pressure in particular. How many rockets did we bring home? We brought home three. Um, if we do th three rockets, that's going to require six supers, I think, which we don't have. Uh, oh, actually, before we do that, though, let's get our, our tier two jetpack upgrade. So we need a sulfur, an Oz, an aluminum, and a super. Sulfur, Oz, and an aluminum. Okay, so this is going to let us go propulsion, propulsion 170 over 150. Uh, there we go. Tier 2 jetpack. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so... Um, pu -pu -pu -pu. So we can actually only do one pressure rocket now. Okay. Well, one's better than none. Because I think it requires two super and three silicon. One, two, three. Let's take a drink and get this sucker launched. As soon as we can make the tier two extractor, we're going to throw one. Well, we're going to probably throw many uh, in that cave. Well, we'll start with one, depending upon how expensive they are, of course. And uh, we'll also put one in the Osmium Cave, the Zeolite Cave, and a Uranium Cave. So I think I would like to do... Well, we'll, we'll just see how expensive they are and kind of figure out what the... Uh, what, oh, I went to the wrong place. Uh, you know, figure out what the best approach to that is. I just need to know what, uh, you know, what it requires to make them. Okay, we want another pressure rocket. And let's actually grab the iridium from the previous one now that all the debris is gone. And we'll turn all that into rods. On the rocket platform. Look at that. Woo! If 
thought I saw... Some more over this way, maybe. Be easier to look for that stuff at nighttime. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We should have a bunch of iridium line, you know, from the first rocket, so I haven't picked any of it yet. I took all the, well, three of the four huts back down that were originally over here. Left that one there for, um, you know, for an O2 station. Also, I saw our first zeolite crystal o over on that plateau, which is, uh, one way, yeah, one way that you can pick it, just out in the wild. It also grows out in the wild in the silver alien biome. Let's see, do I have any more overflow in here? I do. But not enough to make another rod. Guess I'll just put those in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just about full on all of my overflow bins, and when that happens, then I'll just make another little set wrapped around this pillar here. Okay, um... Let's look at stuff here. So we're at 17% to the tree stage. Oh, we got a message that came in from Riley. I've conducted a deep space scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. Try to get to this place. Coordinates. Use the bottom left corner of your interface to find your way around. Okay, so I believe what that's going to do is that's going to lead us towards the war, uh, the first part of the warden's quest line or storyline. It's not really a quest. It's more of a story. Well, it's kind of a quest because you have to go different places. I'm not, you know, we will do that, but not necessarily want to do that right at this moment. Let's go get that zeolite. So we'll start to see these all over the place, these little roots with the zeolite on it. There we go. Our very first zeolite. Yay, yeah, yes. Something that we're going to need in massive quantities of later on. I think I see one over here, too. Uh, I do. Oh, we got the vines now. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, if we don't didn't make it over there, we could climb up and down the vine. Cool. Um, there is one of the... That's a really high level flower over there. I can't remember what it's called, what it's called but um, it's not, not as high level as the golden flowers, but it's still pretty high level. Oh, we got water in the canyon now too. Awesome. Awesome possum. There's more zeolite. Maybe what we'll do here is Oh, that, mo that removes my flashlight for screenshot action. Okay, we'll grab that. Um, let's see, where's the the vine for this plateau? I think each one of them has one. Here we go. Climb up to the top. We'll grab you. And this is called an Arima plant, and it does 450% multiplier. That in and of itself is not super impressive, um, you know, compared to like the golden flowers and I think even the Tuscas. But what we do need these flowers for is to make um, certain tree species. So they're, that's really the main reason why we want them. There's another one here. Cool. All right, so does that 
get us all of the stuff on the plateaus? I think it does. It's, I, I'm really happy though that the we have the vines now because um, it basically gives us a shortcut to get back home. We do have O2, right? Yes, we do. We're not breaking the freaking rules. So, let's see. This is our plateau with our bridge. Well, we have two plateaus with bridges. Yeah, maybe the vine for that one's on the other side, but, you know, right here, we just plop up here and then get to the base. So, really nice to have that available to us now. Oh, yeah, okay, that's the vine for that one, just FYI. Oh, that cave is now full of water. You know what? There's a crate down in that cave. Let's go grab it. I don't think I've, I don't think I've done that yet. Okay. Nothing super great, but it's okay. Um, how do we get out of here? I like I like the look of the canyons once the water comes in. Oh yeah, that's just amazing. I was going to set up rails on this bridge, but I think eventually we'll probably be expanding our base out across most of it before it's all said and done. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I did set up a, finally set up a tree bark uh, storage there because we were running out of room in the miscellaneous here. Uh, we need to make a zeolite uh, chest. Let's put that right next to the Oz. Look at that. It's wonderful. Okay, we'll put the flowers over here. We'll just sit on those aroma plants for now. just looking awesome out here man it's looking awesome uh okay we are now oh great the tier 3 xo that's a good one we need us uh we're not gonna be able to make it till we get super alloy though we need eight super alloy and one aluminum to make a super alloy rod oh and we just crashed again all right i hmm, this is concerning I don't even remember the last time I saved. Oh, God. Oh, the game does auto save every so often. Son of a beech nut. I'm afraid that as we continue to add more stuff to this game, we're going to have more and more trouble with crashing. Um, I can, I can minimize that by reducing my frame rate, but it's going to suck for me because this game is so much smoother on 120 frames per second. Okay, so we didn't lose too, too much progress. Um, all right. And, I mean, it's not terrible on 60 frames, but it's very, you know, it's very noticeable. But that's what I had to, to do in the early access version of the game to keep it from crashing when I was at my base with all of the stuff that we had set up. And if they did not do anything at all to address that in, you know, the 1.0 version, then we're probably going to have to do that the same. It shouldn't affect you guys at all because, you know, the YouTube videos are already 60 frames anyways. Um, but it's going to suck for me, like I said. But, you know, we can't have the game crashing. That's just the thing. Oh. Well, at least we found another seed, or, or another flower. I don't think that was there before. Right, 
Let's go back down into the cave and get the stuff out of that crate again. There's another flower. I'm pretty sure these weren't there before because I would have noticed them. Maybe the crash caused something to refresh, you know, kick in or whatever. There's another Zeo over there, too. Do you have a water? Yeah, we got water. Let's do a save. Alright, grab all of that stuff. And then back out. deconstruct, that's why. So nice having the faster jetpack. In fact, uh, we'll, we'll have up to a tier 4 jetpack before it's all said and done. Uh, which is super nice. Alright, let's do another save. Because I don't trust this this situation. But we got four Arima seed now. So again, we're going to turn those into some trees. Um, in fact, we can make the DNA manipulator now. Do we have one super? We do. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? A bio, an explosive, and an Oz. Okay, yeah, that just kicked in. Um, a bioplastic, an explosive, and an Osmium. All right, cool. Let's put the DNA manipulator... Uh, where am I going to put these? I had those in the bio lab before, so I think I want to keep doing that because I kind of liked that setup. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Okay. That has an auction multiplier of 125, 125, and 125. These, so, the, so these are all the same. Uh, we do already have this tree, the Itera, which is 125. Oh, and we have a mutagen too. Okay, yeah, let's get it. Let's get a tree started. Another tree started. Uh, let's go with the soleus. So we need a lerma and a tree bark. There's our tree bark. And there's a lerma here. We got that right? Yeah, okay. Research. All right. Our very first DNA sequencing, ladies and gentlemen. And many more to come. That's awesome. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go here. And um, got a few things to put away. Oh, I got to remake the, the chest, too, for the thingy, for the zeolite, because of the crash. And, um... Not sure exactly what we'll do in the next episode, but I really, 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 as you know, want this. So we're getting close. We are definitely getting close to that. Um, it's just, it, I really wish we had found a pressure fuse, you know, but we didn't. So, I mean, we got them for O2 and heat, but we're doing good on both of those things. 
So probably going to do some more pressure rockets. Oh shit, you know what? We lost all of that iridium from the crash from those rockets. <laughs> oh well, I mean, we got plenty of it, but still, I just hate hate it. You know, that, that happened. It sucks. It sucks big time. So, yeah, the the plan, the tentative plan will be to get our T2 ore extractor set up in the next episode. Um, very likely it'll happen by then. Um, I think I'm just going to go around and gather up, you know, refresh all the extractors that are currently out there. I, I need a sil or not silicon, the sulfur in particular, because I'm really low on that. Uh, we'll go harvest the algae, maybe make some more fertilizer and stuff. I'll do all that stuff off camera. And then um, when we're getting close to this ready to pop, we'll probably start the next episode at that point. We are 26% of the way towards the trees stage. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.